students and listeners. You are welcome to our French lessons online. I remain your teacher, Father John Bosco Nkanyamo. Today, we are going to continue with our studies since the situation of COVID-19 has forced us to this method of study. Therefore, I welcome you. Be assured that buildings are closed, but learning and schools are open. I'm sure you are keeping safe at home and doing what you're supposed to do to save your life. In this lesson of today, they are our specific objectives, there's objectives specific. By the end of this lesson, students should be able to first describe life in the village as different from that in the city. Two, to descri describe life in the city. Three, name public places in French language. Describe public places in French language. language. We begin with the description of life in rural places. Decree la vie rural. You start with mon village. I know all of you must have experienced in one way or the other life in the village. And often you used to go to holidays in the city. You must have known that life is not the same in the city and in the village. And that is why we should be able to describe each of them according to our study. So we continue here with that in the village. For instance, if you are required to describe life in the village as a French student, you first of all start by saying the name of your village. In our study here, we have taken Egede uh, in Enugu State as one of the villages to describe. When you have done that, you talk about the activities that are done in such rural places, such as agriculture. In our own setting, we know very well that most of our people survive by agriculture. They do farming and they get farming produce and products, and that's what they use to survive. Uh, some others, where we have uh, water, do fishing. In French, we call agriculture l'agriculture. And fishing is la pêche. Some do hunting, la chasse, and the other types of minor businesses, le petit commerce, like uh, those in this area, they go to Mpoibo and do, uh, 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 sell their products and they some, uh, sell many things. And that is one of the things we call le the petit commerce. Uh, little businesses, a parents, a mom, a dad do in order to survive in life. When we come to social life, it is quite different. In village setting, we do uh, other social activities as different from what we do in the city. And then in the village, in agricultural products, we produce things like yam, maize, and so on. But we describe them in French. Lignam, lignam, that is yam. Le maïs, le maïs, that is maize. I hope you are repeating after me because this is the only way to get used to speaking French. Le orange, that is orange. Le mancu, la mancu. Hope you are repeating after me still. So there are many other produces, products of agriculture that you can get in the village setting. We can also see occupations, as I have mentioned, those who do hunting, chasse, those who do fishing, pêcheur, cultivateur, et le petit commerce, as you may name them, 
When we go, we go to life in the city, it is different from what we get in the villages. So we continue now by describing life in the city. We take Oka as a case study. La vie à Oka. You first of all start by naming the city that is Oka. When you go to Oka, the structures in Oka differ from the structures in the village. In, in Oka, you can get many type of hospitals, but in the village, we get community health center as the only hospital, for instance. So when we speak of structures, activities, occupation, social life, they are not the same in the village. So when you visit Oka, for instance, you go to occupation, you go to Ekoka, see many people sell their products, do whatever they have. You, you see that it's a bigger market than what we have in the villages. You talk of the, when we talk of the activities people do there, we see people who are civil servants. We see Oka, we know, is the capital city of Anambra State. So many of the people who live there are civil servants. You see university, Nanda Zikiwe University at Oka. You see other things that make life more enjoyable than what it is in the uh, villages. That does not mean that those who live in the village do not survive. They do, very wonderfully so. Each of them has its own advantage, advantages and the disadvantages. So social life there, or sometimes it is easier to train people in the village and then in this than in the city because in the city they are exposed to many types of life you know that students area are not often mm, very good uh, when i say students area i mean something like unisic is something like you see the life of the youth there can influence the young and uh, so life is not the same in the city and in the village social life also differs we talk of uh, public places, visiting public places. Uh, visited the Leo Public. The Leo Public. I hope you've repeated after me. Uh, public places are places you can go and uh, have access to public utilities that help you to survive in life. In your note, you will see many of them. But here, we have limited you to some of them because of the nature of this teaching. You see, first of all, the Leo Public, you see La Bibliothèque. Looking at the picture before you, you see that it's a library where people can go and study. In library, people can come from any place, anywhere, and follow the normal protocols, and then uh, make use of it. The other one, the picture is a, a, set, a market setting. And you see many uh, products there. So it's one of the public places where you can visit Le Marché, La Bibliothèque for library, and the Le Marché for markets. You see another place, Le Repos. Le Repos. That is airports. I know you must have visited airports um, in one of the, uh, your holidays. You see the plane uh, taking off and landing. And that is the picture before you. And uh, in French, you'll be able to describe it as well. The other one, typical, is school setting. You see students, they are going out and coming in. Le call, le call. I hope you are repeating after me. Uh, and we can talk of activities that take place in the uh, market as a case study. Between two friends, Aga de Nondo and the Madoka Anaya. I think you are familiar with these names because they are the names we use in the classroom. Uh -huh. Aga de Nuno went to market, lost his money, and met his friend, Madoka Anaya, and they narrated his story. So, hello, Madoka Anaya, comment ça va? Ça ne va pas, mon ami. Pourquoi? D'où viens-tu? Je viens du marché. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? J'ai perdu de l'argent. Quel dommage, combien? Je ne sais pas exactement, mais la somme est plus que 50 naira. Ara de nous nous donne, oh mon Dieu, du courage. Merci, mon ami. Let's, uh, next, we study Palais Soko Fair 
who said this there? What you do at your leisure, the loisir. Here, for you to say what you do at, the, at your leisure, you will be conversant with the verb faire, that is to do, and the hogader, that is to look. Je fais to faire, il elle fait. Je regarde to hogard, il hogard. So I look at, I watch, or I do this. This is what is expected of you. In your notes, you have the full conjugation of these verbs that will help you. Then, talking about the different types of what you do at your leisure, you see again, Madokanaya, one of us, M danse, he likes dancing. Moi, j'écoute les informations à la radio. I listen to for information at radio. On enquête, on fait regarde la télé tout le temps. On enquête, on fait watches television always. As the babu te M bavade. He likes shouting, discussing away, wilding away the time. Mon loisir, c'est le volleyball. My leisure. What I like doing is volleyball. So, having gone through this lesson, when you go to your notes, copy your notes, make sure you copy your notes. When you copy your notes very well and you read them, you understand with this little explanation. I continue to pray for you. May God help you to learn and become better. Bye, and God bless you.